Hi there, my name is Salome. I'm a grad student at the University of British Columbia and I'm very excited to be studying coral reef ecosystems in the island of Tobago. I will be researching how coral reef ecosystems are recovering from past bleaching events due to climate change. Located in the southeastern part of the Caribbean, Tobago is surrounded by beautiful coral reefs that provide critical habitats for thousands of species. They also play a huge role in Tobago's economy. They protect the shorelines and beaches from sea storms and provide the people with food and livelihoods through coastal fisheries and tourism. Despite their value, many of Tobago's reefs are degraded and at high risk as a result of long-term disturbances such as overfishing, reef diseases and water pollution due to untreated wastewaters and increased terrestrial runoff. In the last two decades, Tobago's coasts have become struck by mass coral bleaching events as a result of unusual rises in sea surface temperatures driven by climate change. When corals are bleached, they become weak and if they are affected by other disturbances, they are very likely to die. The dead corals then become overgrown by algae and turf, which is something that is being witnessed more and more in Tobago. The aim of my study is to assess the current state of Tobago's major coral reefs three years after the 2010 mass bleaching event. Additionally, I also want to investigate if coral reefs recovery and mortality differed at reefs that are more exposed to disturbances than others. To gather my data at each site, I will be conducting scuba surveys employing standardized methods to study the benthic coral community. I will also be measuring environmental variables such as water temperature and salinity, as well as undertake water quality tests to measure the levels of water pollution and sedimentation rates. In spite of being at a high risk, very little scientific research has been done on Tobago's coral reefs. Since the 2010 bleaching event, this will be the first study to assess the health of major coral reefs on the island. This data extrapolated will be important to guide marine resource management, especially regarding the reduction of water pollution and overfishing. Furthermore, understanding which of the island's coral reefs are still resilient to coral bleaching events will be very useful for the strategic selection of marine protected areas. Your support will help us gather data about the effects of coral bleaching in Tobago, which are urgently needed to increase our chances to find solutions for their future protection and conservation. So thank you so much for checking out my project. Contributions of any amount will greatly help the research and conservation of coral reef ecosystems.